Okay, everybody, Stephen Key here, and I'm back with my favorite person, Mark Portney. Wow. You've been, hiding. You've been hiding. Not that bad. Not that much. I did. You, you guys, we had to drag him back for him to come back to mind. But, Mark, um, I got a question for you. Sure. I'm a, I'm an inventor, entrepreneur, and I'm trying to reach out to people, and, and I don't know who really to work with, right? Because... I want to determine, do I work with you or do I work with you? Or how do I vet people that I know are going to give me the help I need? Is there a certain radar you have? Do you have a bullshit radar? Oh, there I said, do you have a bullshit radar going? That guy's, that guy's going, yeah, yeah you heard it. Is you that heard? You, heard, you, you rub it off on me. So <laughs> tell me this. what do I do to determine if someone's going to take advantage of me? Is there a way? Because I know you know. You can spot it a mile away. How do you know? It's a great question, and I wish I had a very direct answer. But I'm gonna give I'm gonna give you some answers that uh, that that we've talked about. Um, I mean, number one, um, upfront fee. I mean, the minute I sniff upfront fee, I'm sorry, it just doesn't go down for me. So um, there's a lot of people out there that are charging upfront fees to help you with your invention um, submission, or they're gonna give you a big loose leaf of patents or whatever whatever they do um it's it's an absorbent amount so that right there should put your radar on i get reached out to even i get reached out to by by some celebrities that say oh for twenty five thousand, i'm gonna make a video with you and i was like nah you're not you're just not uh again it leans to the upfront fee but without without promise of any um return so let, let's call it that way i mean it's going to be really easy for me to just say Stephen, i've been at this for 30 years and i could just sniff it sniff bullshit from a mile away but but it's i have to try to tell you like what i'm exactly looking for like i can i could just spot it i could sniff it i'm not i thank people for their time all the time because they're full of shit but I mean, it's okay. it's really those are some of the key, some of the key points, and I'm probably not bringing much new to the table, frankly. I wish I could, well, I wish I could help, but I well, don't know I, how. I what I do, I want to make sure that uh, I want to make well for me personally, I want someone to have a track record, and it could be good things, bad things, but I want a track record. I want someone that's still in the game, that's very current that can show me what they've done okay god please give me a testimonial give me a referral give me something so i can say all right you're the, the people you're working with are happy i don't want to be sold I, I i don't want to be sold you don't need to sell me you need to tell me a story that i can understand i can see i can touch i can feel it to see if it has value but what i'm sensing sometimes is that people they're promising things and they're not showing results. That's a good. That's a good one. I mean, the bottom line is, I, I and feel free. You're entitled if if you're going to do business with someone or give up money or give up a percentage or whatever you're giving up. You're entitled to ask some further questions and right. find out. Peel some of the layers of the onion, man. Get get in there. Um, I'm going to have stories for you, but I'm also going to have stories on how I got porked. You know what I mean? Like, they're not all super successful. Like, oh, I went to the top of Mount Everest. I'm the greatest. There's going to be some stories where it's like, hey, we got into this ABC product and we took it hard, man. We really, we actually failed. But here's how I failed. Here's why I failed. But that's as important as success because it shows that you've been doing it. You're in the game. If I sat here and told you that I was a success every time, I need you to click me off right away because it's horseshit. Nobody, nobody bats a thousand. And the bottom line is that's a really, really good one, Stephen, because good, bad, or indifferent, show me your track record. Yeah, I, I want someone that has been through it, has the war wounds, success and failure, but still has a smile on his face that still wants to be in the game. It says, hey, look, you guys, there's some reality to this. And I'm going to help you get through some of the, the bumps because some of those obstacles and bumps along the way, I've experienced them. I got through them. I own them. They're part of who I am. I'm not going to run from it. So 
I don't want it to be so rosy. It's never it's never rosy. I can tell you right now three items that I tried to get into that 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 I miss I misjudged. I got into them. I spent all kinds of money, tens of thousands of dollars to to produce them and develop them and do all kinds of stuff and get them to market and it was an absolute fucking flop. You know like what, what am I supposed to tell you but I and I've got them I can count them on on, on my hand on my fingers like I've done it a lot a numerous amount of times. Okay, everybody. Um, Mark, thank you for coming on again. We're going to have you back and have you back. I'm glad you're back. Everybody, listen to Mark. If you've got ideas, we did an earlier video. He's looking for ideas in the home safety, home safety. But also, you guys, make sure if you reach out to Mark, you're doing it in such a way, short to the point, problem solution. That's the best way to do that. And also, Mark's great advice, and I would agree 100%. Whoever you work with, make sure they have a lot of experience. Make sure they've, they've gotten beat up a little bit. Make sure they still have a smile on their face. And make sure they have referrals. There you go. Mark. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thanks, Stephen. Okay, you've got this great idea and you need a little help and we're going to help you. We're going to give away $25,000 in prizes to help you license your ideas to companies at InventRight. So how does this all work? It's pretty simple. Once we hit 100,000 subscribers on our channel, we're gonna run a contest and show you how to win some of our programs. So what are we giving away? First of all, we're giving away two of our premium programs. That's where you get a personal coach that's gonna guide you each week for you to license your product ideas. They're going to be behind the scenes to make sure you're doing everything right, to make sure your marketing material is spectacular, making sure you protect your ideas correctly, and making sure you're reaching out to those companies and saying the right thing. And then once there's interest, we have a coach that's gonna come in and help behind the scenes you negotiate that licensing agreement so it's fair and balanced. All right, so what's the second prize? Well, the second prize is three gateway programs. What's gateway? Hey, it's real simple. Gateway is where we at InventRight handle everything for you. We're gonna find the companies, find the right people, and make sure your product is pitched correctly to get that licensing deal. So all these prizes, the two premiums and the three gateways, it adds up to over $25,000 in prizes to you. So how does this all work? It's really quite simple. All you have to do, subscribe down below, if you haven't already. And once we hit 100,000 subscribers before the end of the year, we're going to run a contest and we're going to give away those prizes to help you license your product ideas.